Hotspur uh, and it is Chris Cowlin from the Spurs Chat Podcast who joins us now. Welcome to the programme, Chris. Thanks for having me. Good evening, Colin, John and Gary. Hey, Chris. Hi, Chris. Pleasure. Um, Let's start with league position. Fourth at the moment, but level on points with Aston Villa in fifth. Champions League football is the be-all and end-all for the last five games of the season, isn't it? Absolutely. We are all absolutely delighted as Spurs fans. We have been entertained. Yes, we've had a lot of problems on and off the pitch, certainly with injuries, suspensions and, and what have you, but looking at our league position, we are only 10 points away from Manchester City, treble winners, which is absolutely incredible. We've all been entertained. Um, these last few years, under win now managers, Jose Mourinho, Antonio Conte, even Stellini last April when Newcastle absolutely battered us. <laughs> I tell you what, it's going to be a very, very different Tottenham um, on Saturday afternoon, but we're absolutely delighted with the league position. I don't think any of us, any Spurs fan, thought that we would be in this position with seven games to go. So we're all absolutely delighted. Um, you know, if, if we've got Champions League or Europa League next year, we would all be absolutely thrilled because And Postacoglu has done a fantastic job in the short time that he's been here. He's had two fantastic transfer windows. We've got business done early. We've brought in really important players. The planning seems to be excellent. The recruitment seems to be really good. The style is is what Tottenham is all about. Everyone's really enjoyed it. It's been a party atmosphere at the home games, the away games. The fans are, you know, incredibly in, incredible in supporting the club, thick and thin. Um, so we're all really, really happy. But these next seven games are absolutely huge. We mm. play Newcastle, of course, on Saturday, and then we've got a two week break, and then we've got. You know, in the matter of eight days, we play Arsenal, Chelsea and Liverpool. That is going to be absolutely <laughs> pivotal in our season, whether we hear that Champions League music or the Europa League music. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Um, you've talked about the way that Ange Postacoglu has, has, has changed the style of play or, or what he has now implemented and, and the changes that he's made. Daft as this question sounds, and it would have been really daft to ask it kind of nine months ago, are Spurs now a better team without Harry Kane, oddly? <laughs> You know what? I get asked this question all the time, and yeah. I always say that it's exactly the same thing. We're a very different team yeah. um, without Harry Kane. I personally stand by what I've said before. I think if Harry Kane was in this team, I think that we would be uh, one of the challengers for the Premier League this year. Many people, non Spurs fans, would find that absolutely ridiculous, but I've just given you the stat. We're only 10 points off Manchester City, yeah. they're in the title race. Um, had we have not had all of these injuries, and I know a lot of fans will probably say this about their clubs, about injuries, every club gets injuries, but the way that we've played, the way that we set up, the way that we go for it every week, you know, even earlier on the season when we got those in- injuries and suspensions against Chelsea, you know, we were playing with nine men, we were still going for it right at the very end. Um, this, this is fantastic what we're seeing. Um, but everyone has been entertained. Um, you know, we all wish Harry Kane the very best. Hopefully, um, him and Bayern Munich will knock Arsenal out of the Champions League and uh, you know, we'll, we'll all be happy. Um, but you know, good luck to Harry Kane, what he does. But are we a better team? I think we're a very different team. I think that a number of players have really stepped up to the mark. Hudmin Son, of course, is our captain. Vice captains, I thought, was a great decision. Madison and Romero. Uh, I thought Postacoglu made a great decision at the start of the season by appointing them three. Um, but players like Hudmin Son have really stepped up. They've been on fire this year. Um, and of course, you know, he went off to the Asian Games. We had players go off to Africa Cup of Nations as well. So there was disruptions there. But, you know, everyone is stepping up. But the the great thing that we're seeing as Spurs fans right now is progression and direction and ambition. Um, yeah. And, you know, it, it sounds again like Ange wants business done early in the next transfer window. And hopefully we can just keep moving forward as a football club because he's even talking about wanting to be in that title challenge mm. this time next year. Chris, I don't know whether you're going to like this question enough, but here we go. Um, I always felt that when Spurs came north, they had this soft underbelly uh, that you could get at them, that you could bully them. And I think we've seen it here last season, especially in that first 20 minutes. Um, Mm. Has that changed under this new gaffer? I think that's a very good question. Um, We have seen a couple of weeks ago, we went to Aston Villa, um, who, of course, you know, were in fourth at the time. I know they've dropped now down to fifth. We went there. We played our, probably our best game of the season. We beat them 4-0. The right. very next week, we went to Craven Cottage. We went to Fulham. We got battered 3-0. It could have been even more. But to answer your question, I think it has changed. I think it is changing. But, of course, this is Ange Postacoglu's first season. 
everything is not going to be fixed in this first mm. season. I think it will be uh, a matter of time. But certainly we have seen progression, we've seen direction, and we've seen a very, very different Tottenham this year, which we've all been looking forward to going to games because these last few years it has been a, a chore for some. Some people haven't even wanted to go to games. And, you know, certainly this time last year we got absolutely battered. We've been 21 minutes at Newcastle. Yeah. I tell you what, you won't be seeing that uh, Saturday afternoon. Oh, so, no. so, so, so you're confident of coming and winning here tomorrow, then, quick, are you? Yeah, I'm going to get a quick yeah, prediction from you, Chris, a, for tomorrow. Well done. Do, do, do you know, th this is such an entertaining fixture. I do think yeah. there's going to be plenty of goals yeah. yet again. I'm going to go for a 3-2 Spurs win. Um, yeah. We've got to. If, if we want to play Champions League football, Tottenham have got to pick up points in every single game from now till the end of the season. Mm, Sounds about nice right, Chris. Really Cheers, appreciate Chris. your time. Cheers, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very easy. much indeed, Chris Kyle, there from the Spurs Chat Podcast. Uh, we've done our opposition lowdowns. There are lots and lots of local fixtures uh, across the weekend as well. Non-league. We'll start in 